Hello, this is the TradeSet U.S. Stocks Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Sunday, February 25th, 2024. Got two months through the year already, ending Friday, March 1st. Hope a good trading week. Uh, some weird stuff obviously happened with the NVIDIA gap, as they call it, and other stuff, but uh, we'll see here. Here's the dollar index daily chart, um, sitting right where it was almost a year ago exactly. Uh, hasn't gone far, mid-range. Not doing anything special. Uh, Euro dollar got that 13 cell signal uh, back in uh, the end of the year, literally two days before New Year's, and came down to the static trend line, which is exactly what you would expect from a 13 signal. And uh, now it's bounced just a tiny little bit. The pound dollar also sitting where it was a year ago. So Forex dead in the water. Uh, the 13 cell signal here, while it's not too important of a signal because of the count was so flat. Uh, was the top. Uh, ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. New all time highs, of course, here as we continue to uh, run here. This uh, market and economy are just extremely strong. If there's a uh, recession coming, there's certainly no signs of it yet, so you can probably get through the end of the year without an issue there. Here's the SP cash. Now it's uh, 10, maybe 11. 11 bars up. So this is the one thing we could get a 13 cell signal within two days, Monday, Tuesday, uh, possibly uh, get a cell signal after Tuesday if we have two up days on the S&P. Um, but even then, the static trend line is only back to 47.40. So it's not like it's a big pullback. Um, here's the NASDAQ 100, which did have the 13 cell signal, never quite did much against the risk line there. I'm still holding just underneath it. Uh, so it is what it is, and the Russell 2000, this one's not at highs yet for the year, but um, and the small caps have been paying the price of the higher interest rates, obviously, but uh, still there's a cup and handle for me here, so we'll see what that turns into. Uh, here's Bitcoin now sitting just over 50,000, uh, had a 13 cell signal that so far it's shaken off, didn't care about. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, back up. Bonds up rates down, as they say. So we had kind of come back a bit. Now we're heading higher uh, as of Friday. Uh, the VIX closes, unfortunately, at 13.75. We just can't get that VIX spike that we need to get the markets moving again. We need to get this thing over 16, 17, somewhere in there, and hold for the markets to get exciting. And it's been now since uh, basically early November that that's happened. Advanced decline ratio was both ways this week. We had the extremely negative day. But we also had the positive day. The funny thing is, the day that the markets gapped up on the Nvidia news, uh, there was really it was a small group of stocks that carried the market higher, um, very tiny group that accounted for most of the gain. So, you know, it doesn't mean that the whole market's doing well, but the indices are the way everything's rigged these days. Uh, here's the trend closing at point eight on Friday. Puts the 10-day moving average at 1.05, uh, which is not any kind of signal. you got to be under the blue line from the orange line to get a sell signal on the broad market. Here's the 10-minute candles. Remember, we had the President's Day holiday on Monday. So that's that weird-looking day off to the left there. So from the prior Friday, we gapped down a little bit on Tuesday. Moved a little lower, pretty flat. Wednesday, small, small gap down, very flat all day, and then a little dip and bounce, and at that point, you're just even for where you started the week. Then on Thursday, you get the gap up from the NVIDIA news, and you push a little bit higher. Friday, small gap up and flat. So the only day, really, that was of much interest was Thursday, and even that's not too exciting. The NASDAQ looks a little different um, because the NVIDIA is such a bigger part of the NASDAQ, but generally speaking, kind of the same pattern as in terms of what happened, but there's a big, big gap there on the NASDAQ. For the NASDAQ to be at 500, I mean, we haven't seen that in a while, and that was all in one day. Um, let's just go through some of the major stocks we like to follow. Uh, Apple, not at highs, does have a 13 buy signal in place now, held the risk line. We pointed that out last week that that was probably coming. Amazon, uh, nothing here uh, pattern-wise. Meta, uh, and by the way, Amazon, like <laughs> nothing here pattern-wise, nothing here in terms of seeker counts, right? You just got the green startup counts, no red counts at all for over six months. Really interesting. Meta closes uh, basically almost at all-time highs. Google, uh, pretty dead flat. Goldman Sachs, uh, also this thing's been flat. It did make new highs barely by an inch, um, but 
but super flat since the middle of December just doesn't do anything at all. Uh, Netflix now has a 13 cell signal in place on the daily. Uh, target for that cell signal will be 457.21, the red static trend line. Um, and that's a yeah, it's an okay signal. I wouldn't call it the best ever, but it's it's still a, because of the gap. It's an impl it's a plausible signal. Uh, Tesla closes. Um, by the way, look at the, look at the way Tesla used that static trend line, the green two sixty five forty one line uh, from the earlier move down. That's pretty insane. But uh, off the lows, but not anywhere near the mid range for the year. There's Nvidia with the big gap up and more on Friday. Zoom. Uh, bounces off of the lows and FSLR uh, unfortunately approaching the lows so uh, that's the general look at the market right now in terms of the week ahead we still have another week plus before we roll futures contracts and then triple expiration then uh, will be on uh, March uh, 15th so we have this full week here. Month ends, February ends the 29th. It is a leap year, so we get the extra day in February. Uh, and then we uh, have Friday, the March 1st. The following week between the 7th, Thursday the 7th, and Friday the 8th, we do roll the contracts. And then after that, we have um, uh, expiration, triple expiration, as I said uh, there. Uh, now in terms of economic data, uh, coming out this week, what we have here in the U.S. anyways, um, not much, nothing on my new home sales at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Monday. These are all Eastern time numbers. Durable goods at 8.30, uh, housing price index at 9, CB consumer confidence at 10, along with Richmond manufacturing index at 10. That's all on Tuesday. Um, we got a rain announcement out of New Zealand that night. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Wednesday, you've got preliminary GDP. That's the um, second look at GDP for the fourth quarter. Remember, you get the advanced number in January. So, uh, you know, expecting about a 3.3 number. We'll see how much they adjust it. Uh, that comes with the uh, preliminary wholesale inventories number. Crude oil inventory is at 1030. Uh, not much else there. And then on Thursday, we've got the core PC price index. The initial and continuing jobless claims, personal income and spending at 8.30. Chicago PMI at 945. Pending home sales at 10. Natty gas at 10.30. There's a few data points there, obviously. None of them super spectacular. Uh, and then Friday is busy around the globe with uh, manufacturing PMI numbers from every country. Uh, but once you get here to the U.S., you've got our final manufacturing PMI. Revised University of Michigan sentiment, construction spending, uh, that's at 10 a.m. and then uh, some bed members speaking and that will wrap the week so none of our big ones uh, really no unemployment rate no CPI no PPI uh, no Fed uh, announcement or anything like that this week uh, so it's kind of calm from that perspective and like I said Thursday's statement printing for the end of February so we'll see what we should get charts as usual brought to you by Ninja Trader if you've not yet taken the trial of our services feel free to do so we will help you out in a couple weeks we have a big announcement coming in the next week or two uh, that we're excited about and we will let you know you can join our discord channel uh, if you wish and uh, find the link on our website and uh, be the first to know thanks